Tonight at 6, some hospitals are seeing a very high admission rate of unvaccinated pregnant women experiencing complications. Tonight, Mercy tells News 4 the complications are due to COVID in women who aren't vaccinated. News 4's Emma Hogue is live with one mom's story who's hoping by sharing she'll save some lives. Emma is live in Mobap in West County. Sam, and it's an absolutely devastating story. This mother lost her baby here at Mercy Hospital after giving birth at just 22 weeks pregnant. Keep in mind, this is before vaccines were available. Tonight, she's sharing her story in hopes of encouraging other expecting mothers to get their shots. I was scared because I knew what this meant. I knew Axel would be born, and I know from being a nurse in school, that his outcome was not good. It was a fear that became reality for Vanessa Alferman about 20 weeks into her pregnancy. The nurse at Missouri Baptist Sullivan caught COVID shortly after her husband, but her mild case quickly took a turn. About 1.30 on the 24th of November, I woke up and I realized I was in labor. Um, I just realized that this isn't just spasms, this isn't you know, something that not to worry about. It was definitely labor. And um, I realized that, you know, some, something bad was going on. Alferman was rushed to Mercy Hospital in St. Louis, where she delivered her son Axel at just 22 weeks. He passed away just seconds later. She says doctors told her COVID caused a blood clot to form on her placenta that erupted. To think that there was nothing I could do like nothing I could have done would have changed what happened because I had COVID. We are seeing some of our highest admissions with regards to pregnant women in our hospital related to complications related to COVID, and they are all unvaccinated individuals, unfortunately. Dr. Asal Fathian, a maternal fetal medicine specialist at Mercy, says unvaccinated pregnant women have a higher risk of complications, including premature births, miscarriages, and stillbirths. Really, the best protection pregnant women have against these complications is getting vaccinated. Um, we know it's a safe vaccine in pregnancy. Women do well with it. Um, and it's just your best way of protecting yourself and your baby. Just weeks after her son died, Alferman, a healthcare worker, was one of the first to get a vaccine once they were available. Now, 17 months into the pandemic, she wishes others would too. I have family. I have friends that think this is not real. It's a hoax. Even after knowing my story that the vaccine is a political issue and it's definitely like a slap in the face to hear them say this to me. Doctors say there's a lot of misinformation out there about pregnant women and getting the vaccine. They're encouraging everyone always, always, always talk to your doctor if you're on the fence or if you have questions.